I became the new Man United manager, and in season one, we sold loads of Deadwood and made three new signings. We miraculously managed to finish fourth place, get to a UCL round of 16, and an FA Cup final versus Aston Villa. This final went to extra time, and we lost 2-1. But season two is now here, and we endeavor to do even better than last season. We will have more players going out the door and coming in. The board are backing us again because we have 250 million as a budget. Jim Radcliffe has set out these expectations for the season. For us to get top four again, to reach around a 16 minimum in the Champions League, and to be competitive in cup competitions and try and win one. With this squad, we can definitely achieve that, and we are looking to make improvements to it. They, of course, are the same expectations from last season. But if you guys remember, we spent the majority of the season in seventh place. That's why it was a miracle that we got top four. For this new season, we have three brand new kits. If you guys want to see them, then stay tuned. Now, we have a lot of players back from loan, like Jaden Sancho, for example, from Dortmund, and Mason Greenwood. What are we going to do with this guy? And Diego Delo is back from injury, so he's now back at right back. But Rafael Varan, Casemiro, are they going to stay this season, or are they going to be moved on? And Bruno Fernandes, what do we do with him? Last season, he didn't get many goals or assists, and there's a lot of fans saying to sell him. Well, when it comes to putting place on the transfer list, these were the easy ones. Fernandez, Annabel Mabry, Palestri, Brandon Williams, and Jaden Sancho. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, why are you selling Sancho? Well, this guy's clearly rude, and he can't turn up to training on time, not just at United, but his first day back at Dortmund. Now, I bring Casemiro to my office to figure out what he wants to do this season. Hey, Casemiro, I hope you've enjoyed your holiday. I've brought you to speak to me, because I want to know if you want to stay here this season, or if you want to leave. Well, so I've had a fantastic break, thank you. And whilst I was away, I was able to think about what I actually want to do. I feel I played well last year, but going into this season, I feel a transfer away would be the best move. I had a feeling you were going to say that. It's disappointing, but if you don't want to be here, then we'll get you a move away. CDM is one big position in the side, and with Casemiro moving on, I don't feel we can just slot Gomez into this slot. We need someone who is off the quality, which will be hard to find, of Casemiro. Now, Brandon will Williams is the first player off to Bryden. And Palestra is off to Everton for 6 million. Maybe off to Leicester. And Fernandez off to Nottingham Forest. We have Aston Villa trying to negotiate for Jaden Sancho here. Can we get 50 million for him? They say yes. I'd say that's a good deal. Oh, Juventus have put an offer in for Varane. Now we're going to negotiate this. We're going to be keeping this realistic. Varane might be leaving IRL very soon. So 24 million we want for him. And they say yes. His contract aspiring in a year. This is very sad. We're losing a very, very good center back here who had a good season. So for now, Branthwaite slots into this position, and I'm going to be honest, I think we might just keep him there. He was our first signing, and at some point, he's going to have to come through and be the starter. And Jaden Sancho is now the next player leaving the club. Now, you guys have been waiting for this. What do we do with Mason Greenwood? Do we keep him and try and get him on the bench or into the side, or do we sell him and and let him go. Well, I think the best thing for him would be for us to sell him. Can you imagine the away grounds every time we play? We don't need this around this club this season, so he's on the transfer list. Now, I've seen some of you guys suggest in this series that if we sign a new CDM, we go for Joshua Kimmich. Well, this guy's at Arsenal, so that is an instant no. He had cost 70 million. But guys, look, he's 29. He may be 87 overall. But Casemiro wants to leave. He's 32. I feel we need someone a lot younger. The beginning of this episode, I did record yesterday. I've had time to think about it, and I think Kobe Mainu could be moved back to a CDM, which will take two weeks, and he slots into this position. He gets a plus four. Or if we still want to use him as a center mid, we just move this position to center mid and keep him back whilst attacking, or we don't. I feel this is the only way we get Kobe Mainu into the side. So when we play a Champions League final to finish the series, to complete the series, to make them the best team in the world, this guy in the side. Guys, right now we have 363 million to spend. Now you got to be waiting patiently to see the kit. This is the home kit. You may have already seen it. Well, it was on the thumbnail. Rodrigo 
revealing it. There's a nice pattern on the base of the kit. Black socks, white shorts with Snapdragon, which should be the sponsor, I'm pretty sure, I around next season. Still sponsored by Adidas with the United badge, which is all white in the middle of the shirt. I think this is a very, very nice home shirt and very different. Let me know your thoughts of all these kits in the comments, by the way. Now we have our captain, Bruno Fernandez, revealing the second. Will he be here for the rest of the season to wear this kit? That is the question. It's a very good looking kit. Again, very different, but it works. It looks good. The colors are somewhat accurate to what United have used in the past for away kits. Hopefully, we're winning trophies this season wearing this. And Lisandro Martinez to reveal the third. I swear we haven't even mentioned this guy's name once during this series so far, but this kit is, again, very similar to the first and the second in pattern and design, but different. I'm liking it. I'm liking that red there. Snapdragon is looking good. Socks, white, shorts, and shirt all white with black and red. Nice and simple. And of course, we cannot forget Onana in goal. This season, big season for him. He did very well last. All right, so a lot going on there. Uh, there's a big pattern. Lots of colors. But I like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about these kits. Big shout out to MRY, of course, making these. Link to his socials in the description. We have our first game here versus Fulham in the Premier League. And you know what? We're going to start Menu. We're going to put him at center mid. And we're not even going to tell him to stay back whilst attacking. It wouldn't be horrible if Bruno were to leave this season. Perhaps then we realize how big he was last season. He was in center mid row, not cam. So that's why his numbers were lower. Mason Mount, of course, was cucking. But Menu in that position may Maybe do really good and we just play Gomez there. Winning our first game of the season would be massive, of course. Rodrigo, can he hit that first time? Oh, what a goal that is! Hoyland, 1-0. What a fantastic ball over the top. It didn't even touch the ground. Across to Hoyland, one-touch finish. One of the goals of the season. First goal of the season. 1-0 United. Here comes Rodrigo on that left-hand side. This guy's so fast. What a player. Now to that right foot. He's got that gap. He goes to hit it. Big save. Rebound wasn't there. It's Ganacho though. Gets it back in. Hoyler with the header. You just knew that was going in soon as the ball was put in the box. 2-0 United. Fulham don't know what's hit them. That is fantastic. Yeah, conceding that goal there could change this game massively. Oh, Ganacho, that is very, very dangerous, that is. Is he looking to get another assist? Here comes Shaw. Hold nope. your mark. That should have been three. It will be the center back in that position for this season. Here comes Mount. He pulls that back onto that right foot. Gonna try bend it right at the keeper. Oh, no, 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 Makoko. What a player. He's through. Oh, okay. Keeper didn't even dive. He gets the goal. We know how good this guy is. And that could very well be Fulham back in this competition. Here's Hoyland. Nice ball there to Mount. Mount in behind. Delo, Delo. Now to Hoyland. Hoyland to Rodrigo, Gennaccio. Oh, it's a goal, but it's offside. What a play that was. Oh, Manu, big interception there. Gennaccio, I want this guy to really get into the side this year. He's had a good game so far. He could have slipped that there to Hoyland. Hoyland, he's kind of got Gennaccio through there. It was almost like it was planned. He made the path. He made the way. And Gennaccio makes it 3-1. That should be the three points. What a way to start off the season. Hoyland got two goals this game. Gennaccio got a goal and an assist. Yeah, he was really showing this game why he should be starting over Anthony. Okay, we have an offer for Mason Greenwood. There is a lot of comedic material in this offer. Kurt Zuma plus 31.6 million for Mason Greenwood. I, I don't want him to stay in the Premier League because that would be a bit odd with our reason for wanting to get rid of him because away games. I'm going to reject this offer. When I signed for the club, one of the things the club said I needed to do was sign young players with good potential. Well, we Inside Branthwaite, he's been a success. Rodrigo, we don't have to say anything more than that. Marcos Leonardo, what a backup he's been. Gomez, well, he hasn't yet proved anything. We signed him January last season. Both Casemiro going, I think this guy has a big role this season. But I'm still a little bit concerned. We bottled that FA Cup final last year. Yes, we clutched up top four, but we're seventh for most of the season. There are still a lot of players in this squad who are from that Man United. Of the recent past, that has sucked and being bottle jobs big time. So if a good offer comes in for Anthony, I'll accept 
it. Maybe even Bruno. Maybe even Delo. Perhaps Luke Shaw. No one is safe. We have Brighton now at the Amex away from home. We started the season strong, so let's see if we can continue that. That's a nice run there. Ganacho. Here he is. Can we have a bright start? Ganacho gets it in the box. That was dreadful. Here's Bruno. Nice. Out wide there for Rodrigo. Can he tuck it home? Rodrigo! Nice save, keeper. Gomez seems to be doing well at CDM here. Okay, I've just spoken too early. What on earth was that? It's because I said it! What a save! That's a terrible clearance. Yep, 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 yep. Another save. Get this away. Oh, look, there's Rodrigo. Nice pass there to Mount. Mount to Hoyland. Back out wide for Rodrigo. Here he is on the left-hand side. This is looking promising. Trying to find Hoyland. We have less than 20 minutes, and it's still a nil-nil. We need to get something going here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get there. Get there. Oh, the defender got there. Is Hoyland. What's my best option? Bruno Fernandes is my best option. Don't get there. Oh, yes. Yes, Bruno. Nice. Rodrigo in the box to win it. Oh, what a goal. We've done it. Surely now that's the win. Two. Boom. Bruno Fernandes whips it in. And that is scrumptious. Bang. Ball whipped in. No. No. What a save. Onana. Get this away. They've got some green guy in the box now. Get that away. No. Close one. Three points in the bag. Two in a row. This guy should direct a horror movie. It's off to whoever they are. There we go. In a Milan offering 80 million for Casemiro. We could get the money back we paid for him. Can we try and get 86 from In a Milan here? They say yes. Wow. So with Casemiro on his way out, Menu is slotting into that position as a center mid. If it doesn't go to plan, then we've got Gomez, of course. I feel we do need to possibly sign another center mid. In fact, we definitely do. Show Rotire is in this position right now. So get your suggestions in the comments. I am happy with Branthwaite and Martinez, the duo at the back. Lindelof, the backup, but we could do with an extra backup at center back. A very young, low-rated player, possibly like 75 overall. We have 366 million and we will have 86 more when Casemiro is gone. My goodness, the Glazers must be loving me. It's transfer deadline day. So get your suggestions down below if you guys have enjoyed and loving this series. Smash it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you know one another video to watch, click this Bale Life Goose and Fort movie right here.